forgot to start recording, so we'll start recording here. Okay, so when I click the button, let's see what happens. Let's look at it first. Let's look at the rule object side of things, and then we'll look at the adapter side of things. So, when the activity starts, we create it, we set the layout, I grab the button, I set the listener of the button to a hit button handler. Then I do some things with the adapter. We're going to leave the adapter stuff until later. Right now we're just going to trust that it works. Okay. I'm interested now in the interaction between the rules object and the activity. So, when I hit the button, I call our deal card. Our deal card is in my rules class, and what it does is it gets the next card from the deck, and it deals it to the player. All right? The player's deal card method takes that card as an argument and adds it to its hand the hand being the array list of cards for that player. So there's two function calls when I hit the, the uh, deal method. The activity calls the rules, the rules gets the card off the deck, and then calls the deal method on the player. The deal method on the player takes the card that was passed in and adds it to the array list. So we've added to the hand. That's all we do as far as that goes. So if we were to run it, we'll see that. Looks like this. And so on. All right, there's no logic in there to stop you when you go over 21 or anything yet. We're just dealing cards at this point. Okay, now, any questions about that? That's pretty straightforward. The only thing that's a twist, I guess I would say here, that might be a little different than maybe what you're expecting seeing or uh, what you've seen in the past or what you might think of is really the fact that the activity only talks to the rules object. All right, and that, that allows for a very clean separation between the, the rules of the game, the logic of the game. Uh, typically you'd call this the business logic, although this really isn't a business, right? But maybe a better way to say it is the problem domain logic. All right, the logic of the problem and the user interface. So we deal a card. When we click the button, we tell the rules to deal a card. The rules handles it from there. It takes that request to deal a card, and it will give the card to the player, gets the card from the deck, gives it to the player. Player adds it to their array list. Any questions about that? All right, now let's look at the adapter, which is the second thing that this is different, that is different about this. And this, I could see, might be a little confusing, okay? Because we've seen adapters before. I've created a hand adapter, all right? Now, you could do this a bunch of different ways, all right? My hand adapter has two attributes. It has an array list of cards, which you might expect, and it also has a pointer back to the parent activity. We'll see later on what that's used for. That's used in getting the assets related to the activity. All right? So, I have this adapter object, and this is the adapter object that's associated with the player. 
I'm also going to have an adapter object associated with the dealer, right? Can they both use this same hand adapter class? Yeah. yeah. All right. In other words, the behavior of the adapter is the same, pretty much whether you're talking about the dealer or the player. So right now, I have, two, I have one recycler view for the player, and I have one adapter that corresponds to that recycler view. Later on, when I expand this, and we might try to do that today, depending on the time, we're going to have two for uh, two recycler views and an adapter for each. So we'll have two adapters. All right. So this adapter, right now, we see it is, a, is going to accept two arguments, the constructor, an array list and a pointer to the activity that this is part of. All right. That's needed again because we need the information about the context and so on to actually get the assets. And our constructor of the activity simply gets the array list argument and stores it here, gets the parent and stores it in the parent. That gets called in the main activity when I create the recycler view. Now notice what I have here. I have an array list of cards called hand, and I ask the rules, give me the player's hand. All right? Now remember, the rules is the only way that the activity is the only class other than the adapter, the only object that the interface is working with, is collaborating with. So I ask the rules to give me the player's hand. What do the rules do? Well, the rules then ask the player to give me your hand. This is delegation. It's like a little chain. All right? I only want to deal with the rules object, the rules object that has to deal with all the objects that are contained inside of it. All right? So I say, give me the player hand. The rules object then asks the player, hey, give me your hand. All right, and returns that. Now remember that these are all done with object references. So it's not like I have multiple arrays sitting around here. I have one array list. The array list that lives in the player, I'm passing pointers around. So that what's going to get put in the adapter is a pointer to that array list that lives in the player class. All right? It's not like a copy of that array list. It's the exact same array list. It's just a different pointer to it. So my main activity, I create the recycler view. I find the recycler view. I grab the hand from the player. I set the layout manager of the recycler view to be oriented horizontally. All right, you notice this time the cards were laid out horizontally. And then I create my new adapter using the array list that I got from the player and using a pointer to this activity so that I can get the resources and assets of it. And then finally I set the adapter. This is basically what I've done in all the other recycler view adapters, except for a couple things. Number one, I'm asking an object to get the array list. In the other examples, the array list lived in the activity. Here, the array list lives in the player, and I ask the rules for the player, and the rules ask the player, and this guy gets a pointer back to the player's array list. And the other thing is I'm passing a pointer to this activity. So I'm passing a second parameter to my adapter. Then I set the adapter for that recycler view. So that recycler view is now associated with an instance of the adapter. All right. Now, in the adapter, you only have to code like three or four methods, right? I think there's... 
four methods on the adapter, and then you have to code the um, view holder. So I coded my constructor to set those parameters. I coded my onCreateViewHolder to inflate this layout and return it. Return the view holder. I'm going to leave the on bind view to holder to last because that's the most complicated. The get item count is simply the size of that array list. And my view holder object, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pointer to that image view. All right? Because I need the pointer to the image view when I do the binding to set the image of that particular new image view that just got created. Now the logic here is the same logic essentially that I had in Wednesdays. Oh, no, not Wednesday. We meet Tuesdays and Thursdays. In Thursday's example, all right? Is week nine an hour? I'm still confused about my class schedule. All right. I grab the card because again, this position, this function gets called once for every card in the array list, and that position is the index of the array for the card that I want to display. So the first time through that index is zero. Second time through that index is one. Third times through the index is three. Okay, so I grab that index and I grab the card out of the array list. So I'm grabbing the next card that I want to display. already done the inflating. This is the one line I had to change from my code on Thursday because the code Thursday was simply get assets. Well, there is no get assets method on a recycler adapter. There is on a app compat activity. That's why I had to pass in the parent. I'm going to create an input stream. I'm going to use this to get an input stream for a drawable for the card. See get suit plus slash plus card name plus PNG. I've constructed the file name of the card there. And I'm going to stream it in. I create a drawable from that stream and I set the holder's image view to that card. So I have a try and a catch there just in case it fails. Most likely it would fail if like the card was missing, if I didn't have all the cards. So let's run it and make sure it still works because I got rid of a couple lines of code. Questions about this? Any questions about this? The thing that's really different about this than any of the recycler views that we saw before, like if we're going to compare this to the pizza one, the main difference is instead of accepting text 
and displaying in text views information about the pizza. We're displaying information about the card in an image view. And that requires us to import that image, bring that image into the application. And there's several options on how you can do it. I did that through the assets, having them stored in the assets and streaming them in. My suggestion as you're doing this is if you're having difficulty with the images, bringing the images in, bring in a text file, bring in a text view instead. Because we've seen how to do a text view, right? So if you're having trouble bringing the images in, instead of bringing the images, bring in and display the name of the card, the Ace of Hearts, or whatever. <coughs> that should be very much like you would have in your pizza example, right? You could put a two-string method on the card object that would concatenate the name and suit of the card and output that in the text. So if you want a way to simplify this, all right, if you're not sure about getting to the actual image file name, try doing that. Yes? So is a stream just the series of images? Repeat that. The stream. The stream. No, no, the stream is the stream is is the series of a stream essentially like you know, think of it as a pipeline. We're pulling in all the data from that image on a pipeline. So the stream would be all the characters, all the bytes in our one single selected image. All right. So essentially we, we say, okay, here is the pipeline that we're created. We've created a pipeline to this file out on disk. So like what's its suit, what's its value? Right. In this case, the suit, yeah, if you notice in the assets folder, the name of a file, the name of the three of clubs is clubs slash three PNG. So if we were wanted to show the three of clubs, the card suit would be clubs, plus the slash, that's a directory separator, plus 3.png. So what this does effectively, if, if this were the three of clubs, this stream would create a pipeline to that file out on disk. And when I say drawable card equals drawable create from stream, and that's the name of the file, all right? Effectively, what that's doing is that's like pulling in all the data from that pipe. It's like just bringing in all the data, inputting in all that data, and accumulating it in a drawable object. Drawable corresponds to an image. So the computer is picking the number, the suit, Exactly. The card object, remember the card object over here has two properties. Has a suit and a name. All right. When we create the deck, we initialize by creating all those card objects. When we deal a card, we get the next card off the deck, whatever it happens to be, and put that in the player's hand. So it's in the player's hands array. What this adapter is doing is it's looking through that array one at a time for each card in the array is saying, okay, what's your suit? What's your name? It's piecing together that file name. It's creating a stream. It's bringing in the data in from that pipe, creating an image object, a drawable object, and then setting the image in that brand new image view that we created to whatever it whatever the drawable it created. That's a little tricky. But again, if you're having trouble with this, then don't worry about bringing in the images at first. All right? You can leave that off until the last version as far as I'm concerned. All right? Or the second version or whatever. Instead, just make 
your card XML, instead of having an image, you have a text view. All right, that's the name of the card. And then you can, in your adapter view, instead of grabbing the image view, grab that text view, and instead of forming an image, just get the name of the card. All right. Again, I would suggest having a two-string method on the card that would piece together ace of clubs, two of spades, whatever. And then you can do that. If you do that, then it's no different than what you did with pizza, right? Instead of displaying that you have a medium pizza, you're displaying that you have a two of clubs, all right? Instead of medium, no pepperoni, three of diamonds, okay? Questions about this? Uh, I don't know. A few more. Uh, I didn't know if it was like to the end. Probably not to the end. Yeah, probably not to the end. Uh, a couple more at least, I would say. Um, and again, you know, if we need more time, we need more time. You know, um, I, I think this is a worthwhile because in my mind, this is an example of an application that is um, it's hard. Pardon me? It's hard, challenging. Yeah, it's, it's, and it, it's like a real application. You know, it's not, it's not just like, well, okay, we're going to convert this currency or, or something like that. You know, it's something where there is like a fair amount of logic. You have to know the Android stuff. You have to know some Java programming and piece it all together. So it's, it's, it's good, but I think, I think when you're done with this, I think uh, it, it is an accomplishment. You know, it is, it is an accomplishment to, to go through and do this. Let's look at the time. Let me try to add a second player here, a dealer. Okay? That's what I'll try to do today. All right? And we'll try to do that. So, what do I need to do to do that? I need to make a second recycler view. And I'll call it Recycler View Dealer. So now I have the second Recycler View. All right. My rules object needs to create a second player. And I'll create a player called D, which is a new player. Call it dealer. And I'll create a method to get the dealer hand. that will get the dealer's array list. And I'll create a second deal card to deal the card to the dealer. Now keep in mind this could be done a bunch of different ways. This is just the way that I'm choosing to do it. Then I'm going to make a function called start game. Because remember, when we start the game, we deal two to the deal one to the player, one to the dealer. I'll 
which I need this method. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, so I have a start game method that's going to get called. It's going to deal card each to each player. All right. I'm my adapter. Should I need to change anything in the adapter? I don't think so, because that logic seems to be right. All I have to do is point my second instance of the adapter to the dealer's array list of cards. I do have to change the activity, though, because everything I've done for the player's, ad uh, player's adapter I have to do for the dealer's adapter. So I'll create a second adapter. I'm going to create a second array list. get the hand dealer, get dealer hand, okay, instead of recycler view, I'm going to find recycler view dealer, find view by ID, recycler view, recycler view dealer, recycler view dealer, set layout manager, blah, 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 Adapter dealer equals new hand adapter hand dealer. I give the dealer hand to that. Recycler view dealer equals adapter dealer. Once I have my adapter set, it's just a matter of to create a second one really isn't that big of a deal. All right. I just call the methods, except I give the dealer's array instead of giving the player's array. Then I'm going to say, after I do all this, I'm going to do R start game. And what R start game should do is give two cards to the dealer, give two cards to the player. <coughs> and after I do that, I have to notify the adapter, that notify both adapters that their data has changed. Okay, let's run this and see if it works. There we go. Each one has two cards, and if we have hits, we add cards to the player. Now, the one thing that we didn't do is we didn't make the first card of the dealer upside down, okay? We have about 10 minutes, let's try to do that. I'm gonna go into the card and I'm gonna set a Boolean for is showing. And I'm gonna initialize that to true. Because most of the cards we want to.
me? For the uh, back of this one. For the one that was in the back of the car. I did, I, I'm not following your question. So <laughs> the second car shell only in the back. Uh huh. You just said it instead of using a get and a set. I would have to make that a public attribute then, okay. and I don't want to do that. attribute there that will say whether it's showing or not. <coughs> the first card ID to deal to the dealer I'm going to get set is showing to false and then I'm going to give that card to the dealer then in my adapter <coughs> I am going to say is showing I'm going to grab the stream from there otherwise I grab the stream from there's a back PNG so I can just hard code that in Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Uh, because it has in the array the proper card. The only thing that we've changed is the way that we're displaying it. We're saying for that one card, don't <coughs> do it, but <coughs> flip it. I can, and we could even add a button to flip it. Um, if you wanted to, um, maybe we can talk about that next time. But essentially, all you'd have to do is get that card. In fact, let's go and do that real quick. Yeah, we'll do. We'll worry about that next time. I don't want to. We're almost at the end. So, this is a good part of the user interface of this. This doesn't have anything as far as the rules of the game, though. Uh, and we can talk about that next time. Does anyone have any questions about this? I hope this at least gives you some idea. My suggestion is, in your mind, take inventory. What have we done? We've created a rules class, a player class, a deck class, a card class, an adapter, and an activity. 
take, an in, take a mental inventory about which of those you're comfortable with and which of those you're not comfortable with. Do you think right now if you went in there you could make a card class and a deck class? Do you think you could make a rules class that did at least what we did here? Do you think you could make an adapter? Is it the image part of the adapter you're having trouble with or the adapter in general, whatever? But sort of take a mental inventory, do the pieces that you can, and then bring to me the, the things that are, are sticklers, the, the things that are really like problem issues for you, and we'll do our best to work through them. Okay. Uh, that's all I had. We'll go over to lab, and we'll see you there.